Hey friends, I'm Smish from Team Us. This video is the continuation of uh, my previous video in which I explained you how to connect your Raspberry Pi with IR obstacle sensor. So we are back with the same module. Uh, the difference is just we have connected an LED, LED wire, this one. Uh, apart from that, I have connected uh, HDMI cable to my monitor. Uh, I would be basically explaining you the Python code that would prompt out that obstacle is detected whenever any obstacle is there. Um, apart from that, uh, I have connected a mouse this from this USB port and um, rest everything is same. Let me tell you how did I actually connect this LED before just moving on to the code part. So the LED, the black one is for the ground. So, so ground one I connected with the ground of Raspberry Pi. Let me just rotate it once. So the ground here was uh, which I used for this purpose for LED is 14th pin, pin number 14 as you can see it's ground. Then uh, the second the red one, uh, red wire which was for voltage we connected it to the input output pin of Raspberry Pi. In my case I connected it with the pin number third which is mapped with GPIO2. And this is the basic connection which I did for connecting this LED. So now what we are going to do is whenever there is any obstacle the LED would glow uh, apart from the print uh, statement which would be executed parallelly and that the obstacle is detected. So hope this uh, connection is clear to you. Now coming up to the code part. Uh, so this is the monitor which I have connected to my Raspberry Pi. I'm opening this code. So this this is the code which would just prompt out the LED is detected. So I'll explain you the code uh, line wise. Uh, the first statement is basically in this statement we are importing this library rpi.gpio. This one is RPI stands for Raspberry Pi and the GPI stands for uh, general purpose input output. Uh, doesn't matter that the so basically we would be using the functions of this particular library uh, so I, uh, I used as I just renamed it to IO basically this is alias and uh, moving on to the second line this is basically to ignore warning what happens is uh, as we would be dealing with input output ports of Raspberry Pi so sometimes the input output pins perform some other functions so to whenever we would be executing the code those warnings would be displayed so just to ignore those warnings uh, I'll, I'll just show this line it would be ignoring the warnings uh, no need as such and uh, the third line is setting setting up mode this mode is basically you know as it's written pin numbering system there are two types of modes uh, one is BCM the other one is the board which we are going to use basically as you can see in this uh, pinout diagram uh, basically for all those pins uh, suppose for one second third fourth for all those pins there is a mapped input output for all those uh, let me talk about uh, input output pins there is particular mapping so for pin number eight pin number 8 of Raspberry Pi there is mapping of GPIO 14 so similarly any other thing any GPIO 3 it's pin number 5 pin number 5 is mapped so basically via this line this line what we uh, what we tend to say is we would be using the numbering system of system of board so what it means is basically can you come back to this diagram again while we, we would be dealing with the input output pins we would be referring it by the number the pin number which is mentioned on the GPI board this one well I the moment I want to deal with GPI of 14 I would be referring that with pin number 8 that's it yeah that would be more clear when we see the next piece of code I mean uh, so moving up with the, the next line these two basically uh, these lines are basically if you remember in my previous video where I showed you the connection while we connected infrared obstacle sensor with the Raspberry Pi I 
what I did was I connected the pin number 8, the GPIO 14, GPIO 14 that was mapped with the, with the pin number 8 of Raspberry Pi with the infrared. So this was basically, this line says, can you come back again to this, sorry for the interruption. So basically, if you see all those pin input output pins, you see 14, GPIO 15 and 2, 2 3, what it means is, you can either set, you can either perform, uh, make them perform as input or they can e either act as the output. So via this line, uh, this line, I am asking this, that this pin number 8 should act as input. So we had an option, either we could use this as an input or an output. So I am asking this, I am, I am telling it, so pin number 8 should perform as the input pin, right? Similarly for this, uh, the, the next line, the pin number 8, I want it to perform as an output pin. So this one is connected to the LED, which we connected it today itself. So basically this is just telling the microcontroller that this pin would be working as input pin uh, or that this pin would be working as output pin, that's it. Now coming up to the main code, this starting up with this loop, this is basically never ending loop. Then I had put this condition which says whenever I get the input, uh, let me tell you uh, explanation, should I turn it on board? Okay, this is basically as the infrared the sensor is basically an input device. It would be giving an input whenever it detects an obstacle, it would be giving an input. So obstacle detected or obstacle there was no obstacle, something. It would be giving an input to this microcontroller and this input would be used by this microcontroller to tell this LED, which is the LED which is an output device. So via this input, it would be known to the microcontroller, this particular thing has happened. Microcontroller got that input and the output would be performed using this input. So basically, uh, come back to this code. So whatever input we get from the pin number 8, pin number 8 goes for infrared IR sensor. Suppose it gives me 1 or 0 depending upon obstacle detected or not, whatever it detects it would be used in this if block and depending on that the condition would be run so in the in our case whenever there is an obstacle it would be printing me out obstacle detected and apart from that what i will do is this output pin pin number three was associated with the led so i would ask this output pin to perform by true i mean to say it it would glow this statement i would ask my led not to glow that's it. So this was the simple code of you know detecting obstacle and when the obstacle is detected the LED would glow uh, apart from the print statement which would be executed. Now let me run this. Okay. So let's run. Now I'll just bring my hand which would act as an obstacle. Apparently you see the LED is glowing monitor also you can see this it's continuously printing obstacle detected 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 and so on and the moment i you know uh, this remove this obstacle that is in this case it's my hand the led stops glowing and again on the monitor screen also you can see this print statement is not executing now so let me try uh, let me show you once more uh, this time i'll use this a uh, screwdriver that would again act as an obstacle the moment i bring it close to this the led glows similarly on the monitor screen it's continuously running the obstacle detected detected and the moment i take it away the led stops glowing so does this print statement so uh, hope this hope this was clear this was a simple code to execute this and perform uh, the task so hope you enjoyed this video uh, make sure to subscribe to our channel as we are coming up with a lot more videos um, again if you have some kind of queries or concerns you can always get back to me via the comment section below we'll meet you in the next video till then we must and keep rocking bye bye